gonna need more time. Uh oh. For me, it's I have, I have, I guess I've built up through the years, kind of looking back at everything that I've done. I have certain sensibilities, and that's my point of view. And I never try to do CG like 2D, but it's just what I like. You know, I like cartooniness. I like uh, things to be very cinematic. I like things sometimes melodramatic and the action and stuff. There's some humor in that. So these are things that I think are kind of shape my style. So I just brought that to CG. So usually an average day starts out with some, uh, usually I try to get an early to get uh, like an hour, half an hour of my own work time. And then usually we start with story stuff. So we have story review, then we have a visual character review. Then we start getting into, after lunch, we start getting into the digital side of things. So we look at color, we look at models, we look at final lighting shots, we look at set designs. And then the end of the day always ends with the animation review. So we do about an hour and a half to two hours of just looking over shots. And then at nighttime I'll go home and do whatever extra story work and drawings and sketches. I enjoy the creation of it. Uh, creating characters, creating stories, storyboards, giving birth to characters, you know. Um, and then the ending from animation through post. Seeing it come alive, seeing it breathe making people laugh for movement, which is one of the biggest things. And, uh, and really, like in, th in more so in, th in movies than television, sitting at a mix on this giant stage with a giant screen with the sound as perfect as you can get it, and doing a, like a 7-1 mix is awesome. No, no, because we have a moment along the way during production, we watch it on the big screen and there's preview screenings, and so I don't get it, I don't get nervous that way. Uh, it's more about the, you know, sometimes when you're, it's like, you know, I, I always think doing your own films is, or directing is kind of doing like stand up, you know, except you're behind the stage, you're not in front of the stage, you know? So if, especially if it's jokes that are written or a story that I wrote and you're putting it out there, it's like you're on the screen, you know, so that, uh, so you feel nervous, like, okay, is it coming? And then when people laugh, you feel great because you feel like you're, you've done your job. You have to have a story to tell. You know, so your IP should be something that you love, something that you know. You know, like I couldn't do a great movie about knitting, you know, or quilting. <laughs> you know, because it's not my passion. But if somebody else loves it and they can communicate that, that's what the magic is, you know. And so Samurai Jack, I loved all Samurai stuff since I was 10. You know, I read books on it, I did drawings, there was something in my DNA about it. And so when it was time to do it, I knew what I wanted to do. And I, it was, there was a sincerity about it. So that's the thing, I guess, maybe sincerity, point of view, those are the things when you're creating stuff that it, it needs to come from a, from a truthful place. The Clone Wars were amazing. The whole thing was amazing because, you know, I mean, there's lots of stuff of getting to fly to the ranch, you know, and, and having lunch with George. You know, like that's really surreal and sitting in one of the most beautiful landscapes ever and his the studio is so wonderful and just sitting and talking film with him and just listening, you know, and he had, he said this one th great thing. He goes, all people want to see is a puppy thrown into traffic, you know, and what it is, it means like something you care for that's iconic, put into the worst horrendous situation, you know, and it's drama. You know, and just like putting it so simply, I was like, oh yeah, I, I get that. So at the time, um, Hasbro uh, had a deal with the George to make the toys, right? And then they also had a relationship with Cartoon Network on uh, some other show, maybe Ben 10 or something, I don't remember. And so they were talking to them about maybe doing something. And so Hasbro had to wait a long time in between movies to sell the toys, right? So they asked George, can we do something animated, something, you know, to help move the product around? So he goes, fine, you could do one minute episodes, right? So then uh, Cartoon Network came to me and they go, okay, Gendy, we got Star Wars, and uh, but they're one minute episodes. And I said, like, one minute, like, I can't do anything with a minute, let's get a commercial. So I don't wanna do that. I go, at least give me like three or five minutes, you know, maybe that could be something. So they go, well, you know, George is very adamant about it. So they went back to uh, George and they go, okay, we've got Gendy and the team from Samurai Jack. 
and they'd like more time. And he goes, oh, I like Samurai Jack. They can have three to five minutes. So that's kind of how it all, how that uh, came together is, is need for more content, you know. And then that was just the first season. And then the second season, he actually liked it. So he gave us more freedom, more time. We were doing 12 minute episodes, a much bigger story arc and, and introducing General Grievous. I think I would, I would tell myself, um, be smart, be in the moment and surround yourself with people who are better than you.